Now, uh, this must be, it's great fodder for candidates, actually. Uh, the primaries that are going on right now. Well, I never, I never do any political humor. I never mm -hmm. do any topical stuff. So the only place I get to talk about something like that is a place like here, mm -hmm. you know, or in, in interviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see, I like a, a guy like Buchanan interests me because I just, I just want to see his neck explode. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's the same reason I was fascinated with Mike Ditka <laughs> as a coach. <laughs> I say, why don't they just put an isolated camera on him and sooner or later this vein is gonna <laughs> So I, I uh, just I just like you know, I just like uh, disasters and things. <laughs> I just do. I, uh, I, I, I'm really fond of, mm -hmm. of, of, of big explosions. When they say something explodes when they when I hear the CNN theme for breaking news, boy, I'm there. <laughs> And, and, and the bigger the explosion, the better I like it. I really don't care. I don't care. I, I like it when a lot of people die. It's a little sick. I know that, but I do. I like it when a lot of people die. It's fun. I always wish that it happened during rush hour. You know, they always say, gee, if it, had, if it happened during rush hour, it would have been much worse. I say, yeah. No. <laughs> it so oh, God. I, I just, yeah. You see, I, I, I root. I got to tell you, ultimately, I root. I lost all faith in this species and in my nation's <laughs> culture a long time ago. I, I got a divorce, uh -huh. and, 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 and I needed it. I, I, I hear that, I'll do it, yeah. I found that, you know, artistically, tell you the truth, as a writer, it gives you an emotional separation from the outcome. A lot of comedians I hear, when they complain about stuff, they seem to imply that everything could be all right if we just do this or just do that. I don't care. It's never going to work. It's, it, there's no, if you think there's a solution, you're part of the problem. That's uh -huh. what I believe. <laughs> so, I guess it's true. They, they know. <laughs> How's that bumper sticker selling? <laughs> yeah, we should. But but I, I root uh -huh. ultimately for the big comet or the big asteroid uh -huh. to come here and get things right. Because uh, what happened is we would never have emerged from the ferret stage. The mammals wouldn't have arisen if it weren't for that comet that, that wiped out the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs killed them, yeah. The second comet is due to get things back in balance. And, and what I want for it to do as a poetic touch, I want for it to come through the hole in the ozone layer. Wouldn't that be nice? And I want it to happen east of me so I can watch it on CNN for about 18 hours before the dust cloud reaches my house. It's just the way I am. <laughs> so would you say that you hate people? I mean, is that a fair thing to say? No, no, individually I love them. Every person I meet, I, I sort of like, and I'm, I'm not trying to be corny here, but I see the universe in them. You can see a part of everything and everyone, and they're mm -hmm. just wonderful to look in their eyes and. But when they start to group, when they get into clots, when there's, for instance, groups even as small as two. <laughs> uh, here, here's a good example. So the two of us, That's yeah. Right. Not okay. as good as each of you separate. <laughs> right, all right. And what happens is they begin to surrender the beauty of the individual for the sake of the group. Even like a guy, like you know how if there's a bunch of guys hang around together in high school or college and then one of them gets married, he changes. He's, 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 not, he's, he's, he's in a group and, and the wife will say, well, you know, he's just wonderful with the kids at home, but when he's with those morons at the bar, he's different. Mm -hmm. And the guys will say, hey, you were such a good guy, but when he's with Linda, man, the guy's, you know, <laughs> just a drag. <laughs> People change. Uh -huh, and and uh -huh. then the bigger the group, as the group gets bigger, 6, 8, 12, 15, 100, 15,000, <laughs> they begin to have hats, armbands, <laughs> little slogans, lists of people they don't like, and it uh -huh. gets out of hand. Uh -huh. So I'm in favor of people one by one, but in large groups, I would like to see them Disappear. Oh, so that's where out. you want the comet all comet. net through the ozone layer. We have to get back to the ferrets. <laughs> the only hope. Uh huh. This is very, uh, very nice. But actually. it gives me it's something nice to hope for, and it keeps me separate from the rest of the folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's I no think you're real to, fun at a party. Yeah. Well, there's no one to talk to about this. Yeah. You know. I wouldn't think so. But right. it's, uh, it keeps me going. All right. Well, we, we really sincerely hope you can come back sometime. I will try it. I mean, I told you I'd like to come back. Yeah, because no even reason to plug anything. Yeah, you don't have to plug anything Good. next time. Good. Of course, the HBO special, which you're plugging. Right. George right. Carlin. Live. Yeah. Live on the 30th. Okay. George Carlin back in town debuts March 30th at right. 10 o'clock p.m. on HBO. It'll be hysterical, it's no doubt about it. It's a good strong show. It's a good strong show. Really, this is so great to have you here. Can I stay? Can I stay a little? Yeah, stay. We would love it. George Carlin, everybody. John Cryer, Robert Schindler coming up. We'll be right back.